Okay, now it's time for compositing and uh, I have imported all uh, the uh, renders and uh, right click interpret footage main and uh, pre-multiplied 25 frames per second and square pixels Okay uh, Right click interpret footage remember interpretation then paste it on the others Like that now we're good to go uh, we start with uh, adding the carpet and we are going to color correct it so that it uh, uh, blends a little better with uh, the carpet the real carpet not the fake one so uh, let's add a uh, let's see brightness and contrast maybe and uh, decrease the brightness and uh, also the contrast and uh, like that maybe this is looking pretty good you can see here that is uh, not exactly matching but uh, that does not matter okay that is good so uh, let's import the couch uh, that color is not the same, so add a tint to the, to the couch and uh, map white to. Uh, uh, no, that was not right. Uh, amount of tint, decrease that to maybe there. And uh, if we make a quick mask here, we can uh, control to invert it and uh, now we're going to see if we can uh, make these two blend a little better so if, if we shut up the masks and uh, add a uh, maybe a exposure much better than this so the couch is done let's delete the mask and uh, now let's import the table leg and it is way too bright so uh, hide those and we're going to try to match this color to that color so add a tint effect tint uh, Uh, map white to uh, that dark color and uh, like that. Now that is well maybe not that much, but more like so. Okay, add back those two and go close that one. And uh, now pre-compose these. If we duplicate. Uh, the background footage and uh, make it a guide layer it will only show up in the composition that it is in so if we pre-compose this uh, move all attributes and uh, type background it will uh, not show up in this composition but it will be here in this so now let's uh, add the mat into and uh, this is uh, what will be seen through the uh, through the hole, and uh, set the background to uh, alpha inverted, and then add in the hole. You can uh, uh, add a, s a simple choker to. I must have exported the mat without the noise on the edges so I if I add this one I can just you can see what I'm doing like so that seems good and you can see here it uh, is uh, looking nice and we're going to try
try to uh, make it, it a color between that the carpet should be a color between that color and uh, that color so a little darker so uh, to make the couch here and uh, no the carpet uh, decrease the brightness so that it is between there and add a tint modifier So, and go back to the final, and uh, you can see here, you can also see the couch here, through the hole, and uh, we're going to uh, color correct the hole itself a little too, uh, right now it is uh, two uh, sharp colors, so add a brightness and contrast modifier to it and uh, not modifier effect of course contrast like that maybe just looking better and uh, let's pre compose these three as uh, CG and add motion blur to it you can see uh, the difference you can uh, of course export with motion blur in 3ds max but uh, it is very time consuming and uh, i think this way gives uh, results uh, just as good so okay what's left to do we can change this to half uh, this does not look very good so go back into background and uh, increase the amount of tint no, that was the wrong way table leg, increase the amount of tint here like so and uh, enable those two and uh, you can of course add a shadow to the leg while you are in max but uh, I think, uh, yeah, well, I should have done that, but I uh, forgot. So uh, you can do that, and it will look uh, even better. So uh, the only thing left now is uh, rendering, and uh, you go composition, uh, add render queue, change it to maybe no, quick time movie format options uh, h.264 ok ok audio output ok and uh, hit render and uh, thank you for watching my tutorial and uh, ja, nu kan jag ju på de här sista sekunderna säga något på svenska och uh, tack för att ni tittar på den här uh, tutorial <laughs> Och eh, kommentera gärna. Ja. Hej då.